Hi, my name is Jeremy Phoenix Williams. I'm the writer-director of On the Sale of Swords. It's a short film set in the medieval era about a sellsword who is hired by a knight to escort a prisoner to the next town for his execution. But the prisoner, along with the knight himself, have plans of their own. We wanted to explore a different avenue of action scene. In this case, a sword fight, which will be the centerpiece of our film. Uh, we're dedicating an entire day just to shooting that. Right now, we've got most of the crew from our previous short film, Witchbane Hunters, on board to do this. We've got Eric Weiss, who is our lead actor in Witchbane, as well as Spirits, our award-winning short film at the Dallas International Film Festival. Not a lot of people know what a sellsword is, or maybe don't have the right idea. They're essentially a mercenary, someone that sells their sword, right? They fight for a living. Um, and because they do so, no one really likes them. Uh, you'll see this in the film as they're sort of disregarded with uh, kind of a sneer. Um, they're sort of seen as lower people. They're sort of like a, a stray dog, right? They don't have loyal to anybody. To play the sellsword, you have to tap into sort of a base instinct, really, um, that isn't really pretty to think about. You stay alive by killing other people for money. And so you sort of think on that level all the time. Everything's a tactical move. Everything is a move for money. That's the mindset your character has, is that the person I'm looking at, someone could pay me money to kill him right now. And I could be joking with him right now. Actor Aaron Stewart will be playing the bard, the prisoner who's being transported by the sellsword in the night to his ultimate fate. But he has plans of his own. With his arrogant attitude, he's playing a game that he's certain he's already won. Playing the role of the knight will be Russell Farr, the instructor at the DFW branch of the Scola St. George School of Medieval Martial Arts, which we'll be showcasing in this short film. Russell is also my instructor here at uh, Scala St. George. Uh, here we learn the art, um, which is founded by Fure de la Berry, uh, founded in about 1409, uh, the art of arms. This is a historical European martial art, uh, which is what you're gonna be seeing here in the film. Uh, I've been a choreographer for some time. Uh, came from medieval times, dinner and tournament. Uh, was a knight there performing for about five years. From there got out, uh, been choreographing fight scenes for some time and always wanted to get back to sword fighting. That's just always been, you know, my passion. So when I got here and started learning an actual historical art, um, I was pretty much in love. And that's what we're gonna be showcasing here, is that it is alive and well and accurate so when you watch this film and you see Russ and I have this fight scene, we're gonna be using an actual historical martial art that's going to be applied theatrically for your pleasure, but also accurately. Uh, there'll be real moves, real counterattacks. What we need for this, uh, we need to pay sound. We need to pay for sound. We need to pay for music. We have stunts, sword fighting. Uh, we need to pay our actors, pay our crew. On board, we have a composer by the name of Gavin Salkeld. He's a composer who has years of experience and is a filmmaker in his own right. I'm Lee Clowers. I'm going to be the cinematographer on this film. I've worked with Jeremy and Eric uh, on multiple films, Witchbane Hunters, Spared, Spirits, and uh, we've developed a really nice collaboration uh, effort together. And uh, we're just going to keep on trucking and make another great little piece. This film isn't going to be particularly light intensive, but we're going to need some nice camera equipment. Um, we have some of it, but some lenses. It's going to be the most important thing for this film, and uh, we'd, we'd need y'all's help for that. I pride myself on being able to work effectively uh, with various budget levels, various camera packages, various lighting setups. You know, what the budget calls for, I'll work with. But every, uh, every little bit of support that we get just makes this film better and better. And I'm going to work as hard as I can putting every effort I have into making this film visually as interesting and as engaging as the script and acting are going to be. We've shot in many different areas, old alleyways and cityscapes, post-apocalyptic, things like that, but we haven't shot in a medieval era. Considering how immersed into the world of Renaissance fairs and medieval times that we are, we really wanted to make a short film that was set in that era. The interesting thing about period pieces like this is they're usually the most expensive to make, and we want to do it justice. Every little bit helps, whether it be $1, $10, $25, $25, whatever you can afford to give. You can get DVDs, Blu-rays, even posters. Help us out to make this awesome short film happen. Thank you for listening.